Laker Nation, let's get it. Let's go, baby. We ballin', we ballin', we ballin'. Let's go. What up, Laker fam? Laker fam. Let's go, Laker! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go. We ballin', we ballin', we ballin'. But it's purple, hard as well, baby. LA, I got it. Who with me? Let's roll. Oh, yeah, you already know. You know what they yell when they see me? Hurling, go, hurling, go. This dying's on my way to the flam dog. Gonna hate her like a Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. Champions of the spot. Watch how they watch us. Meet me at the top. LA, baby. Nah, we ain't gonna stop. LA be like. Hey, baby. Like LA be like. LA be like. Let's go, baby. Oh, I'm pumped. Are you pumped, baby? Are you pumped? Are you pumped? Welcome to LOE, baby. Lakers over everything. Purple and gold till we die. Purple and gold we ride. I bleed purple. My heart beats gold, baby. It's Lakers over everything. Welcome, 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 or welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Lakers Nation. Lakers Nation. Lakers Nation. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Salute to the nation. The only nation, baby. Lakers Nation. <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, man. We're back with a quick little video. Um, man. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, man. We've been going at it all summer long. Is Russ staying? Are we moving Russ? What's the deal? What's going on, bro? We're back with another video to talk about it. Because yesterday, 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 um, Tony Jones of the at Tony Jones of the Athletic reported that the Lakers and Jazz, the Utah Jazz, we all know that deal. Um, the Lakers are, and Jazz are still engaged in trade talks. They're still trying to get a trade done, man. And if this is true, um, then boy, 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 man. Because shout out to the Kareem report. He reported this yesterday uh, when he dropped a video about it. Man, when when trade talks, you know, pick up this late, again, we are, what, we are only, what, 14 days away as I sit here and record this video. We're only about 14 days away from camp. Um, of course, camp uh, media day kicks off September 26th. That's coming up real, real soon. And then camp is uh, the next day after, you know, September 27th. So well, we're about 14 days away from camp, man. Um, probably a little bit less, depending on when you're watching this video. But uh, the LeBron James players only mini camp. That's going to kick off first, you know. LeBron, that's his thing. He normally takes the team. Uh, the Vegas, uh, I heard this year's going to be down in San Diego. Um, so that's coming up real, real soon as well. Um, so the fact that you have a deal um, or some talks still going on, shout out to Green Report again, he mentioned this. The fact that you have some talks going on this this close to camp um, might mean something, you know, it's close to getting done. You know, they're both serious. You know, whoever picked up the phone and made that phone call, um, you know, they want to get a deal done. You know, obviously, the Lakers, they want to move Russell Westbrook, um, but, but what's the price they want to pay, right? That's the holdup in this. And then Utah, obviously, they have a lot of veteran guys that they need to move off their roster, you know, after trading Rudy Gobert away, after trading Spider Mitchell away. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of in rebuild mode, right? Um, so they have a lot of guys that they want to move, and they have to move. You know, they have too many guys. Um, on their roster, you know, in the Rudy Gobert trade, they took they took in more guys than they put out. The only guy they put out in that deal was Rudy Gobert, but they took, what, three guys in? Same thing with Donovan Mitchell. You know, they only sent out Spider Mitchell, but they took a lot of guys in. So, obviously, they're over the, the max for uh, players allowed on the roster. Um, you can only carry 15 guys on your roster into the regular season. Um, that's including your two-way guys, right? So, 15 guys into the roster. Uh, you can only carry 15 guys uh, on the roster. Sorry, that's not including your, your two-way. My bad. Um, you can only carry 15 guys on your roster. Um, and uh, I think they're like at 18, 19 guys, you know, when you add in their two-way guys. So they need to move. They need to move a few guys. Sorry, I, I believe 19, 20 guys, you know, adding in those two-way guys. So just, uh, just their regular roster, you know, they got too many guys, you know, so they have to move some guys. It's a must. It's a must. It's a must. They absolutely have to. And um, the Lakers are a perfect trade partner for them to do that, you know, because keep in mind, they got to send out pretty much three guys, right, to get to that 15 player uh, max. And pretty much they only got they can only afford to take one guy back, 
you know um they can't do like a three for three or one for one or two for two you know um not even a one for two um they gotta pretty much do a three for one send out three take one guy back and that'll put them uh you know at that 15 player spot um and russell westbrook is pretty much the only guy that can afford them that luxury you know to to do that to do a three for one because his salary is so high there's nobody else you know in the nba with a salary that high that's on the trade market that's looking to be moved you know guys making that much money they're superstars you know teams aren't moving those guys again russell westbrook is making a whopping 47 million dollars right 47 million dollars you know and uh you know they, hey you talk gotta do something so again i said all that to say um the fact that they're still talking trades this late uh, might mean you know the teams are motivated to get something done of course we know the lakers are very very motivated you know russell westbrook um just was not a good fit last year and um i don't i don't know man a lot of it you know he would have to change a lot you know in regards to his to his game to be a good fit this year um is he capable of doing so i don't know we'll talk about that at a future date you know if russ remains on the roster but i think um what's best for business what's best for lakers nation is for us to move on from Russell Westbrook. And man, we're talking all about it, man. We're talking all about it. So let's see if we can get something done. And I know, again, it's been a long summer talking about this, but uh, we don't have too much longer to talk about it because training camp is coming up real, real soon. Like I said, you see it scrolling down there. Media day is September 26th, uh, and then camp is September 27th. Now, again, LeBron James player on the mini camp. If Russell Westbrook is still on this roster, come LeBron James's mini camp, then I believe that, uh, you know, no trades are going to get done because no way Russ is going to go to the camp and then they trade him after the camp. The purpose of the camp is to have your team, right? Um, players only. It's going to be your squad for them to come together and kind of get ready for camp. So um, I don't see Russ going to that camp and then they trade him after unless something crazy happens at the camp. Him and Pat Bev get into a fist fight or something. <laughs> um, and, and, and we're not speaking that into existence And then uh, also something else to look forward to The Lakers only have 13 guys on the roster right now So once the Lakers feel that final spot You have to have 14 guys on your roster I know I said you can have a max of 15 um, But you have to have a minimum of 14 But the, what the Lakers like to do They kind of like to keep that one That 15th, that, that final 15th and final roster spot open um, you know, for buyout markets come February, you know, guys enter into the buyout market or, you know, if any trades, you know, pop up, you know, during the season. So normally they like to keep that 15th roster spot open. They did it uh, last year. Right. Um, remember Austin Reeves. He hit that. He got that 14th and final roster spot. Um, you know, now it's not to say that if they feel that spot, you know, and someone becomes available, they can't make a move, you know, because more than likely or not more than likely, pretty 100 percent sure. Um, that that 15th roster spot will be a vet or minimum a vet minimum guy so he'll be easy to move yeah the lakers will have to pay a little bit to cut him or whatever but you know if the right player is available then that's something that they, they'd be willing to do so again the lakers have 13 roster they have 13 men on the roster so they have to fill that 14th and final roster spot um if the lakers do that you know before training camp before lebron james mini camp then that's another sign that that you know no trade is going to get done because they're not going to fill that spot then turn around and do a trade remember you know they they want to try to take three guys on um you know so uh yeah right now it works out perfectly they can kind of take three guys and send one guy back one guy out a, a, again they have 13 guys on the roster um shout out to rob he got a deal done you know the the pat bev deal he sent out tht and stanley johnson to kind of free up open up that other roster spot so it works out perfectly you know they send out russ right do the math they send out russ that's going to take them from 13 down to 12 and then they can take three back two or three guys back from utah you know if they take two back they'll put them at that that required uh minimum of 14 guys if they take three back then they'll put them at that maximum of 15 guys so it works out perfectly now let's talk about some trades man let's talk about some trades i'm sure you guys have been hearing it um all the trades uh you know the possible trade scenarios um and i want to know what you guys think man I, we've talked about it a little bit here we've talked about it a lot on other channels but let me get these guys salaries up so the perfect trade uh, it works out money wise and i believe it helps the lakers out um you see it on the screen is russell westbrook for bojan Dogvanov, uh, bojan bogdanovich 
uh, Mike Conley and Rudy Gay. Um, everything works out financially in that trade. You see, Bojan uh, makes 19.3 million, Mike Conley makes 22.6 million, and Rudy Gay makes 6.1 million. So financially, that trade works out perfectly, man. It, it, it really does. So um, that could be a trade. Uh, you know, of course, um, it checks a lot of boxes for the Lakers. You get two wing guys in Bojan and uh, Rudy Gay, right? Rudy Gay is a vet. Um, he's a two-way player. Um, he can stretch the floor. Um, he can score for you. You know, he can get you a solid 10, 15 points, you know, on any given night, right? Um, he can grab double-digit rebounds if needed, right? Um, he can play some good defense, you know, something that the Lakers need, you know, um, on that defense. They need some defensive wings. And I know Rudy Gay is, uh, you know, he's not a young guy, right? He's been around, but I like that. You know, we got a very, very young team. So I'm intrigued by having another veteran to add to that bench, um, you know, to mix in with these younger guys, right? So I love Rudy Gay there. Um, and I believe he checks a lot of boxes for what the Lakers need, and he can really, you know, help the Lakers out, you know, on that bench. Um, and then, of course, Bo Bojan Bogdanovich, we all know he brings that shooting. He brings that shooting. He brings that shooting, man. He's a catch, you know, a catch and shooter. Um, he catches the ball, throw it up. Um, and they, you know, it's going to go in. Man. He's a great shooter. Um, and uh, next to LeBron James, um, he'll be great. Man. So we don't need to spend too much talking, too much time talking about him. We all know what he brings, you know, what he will bring to this team. And uh, again, he's a vet as well. And then Mike Conley. Uh, Mike Conley, obviously a point guard, right? Um, if you're sending out Russ, then you, you need a point guard back right now. Of course, we got Patrick Beverly on the roster. We still got Kendrick Nunn on the roster. Um, but Mike Conley, I think he can come in and step into that starting role. Um, I know it's been a lot of back and forth. You know, a lot of guys don't want Conley. They're saying he's old, he's washed, whatever. Keep in mind, Conley did play 71 games for Utah last year. Um, so, you know, in regards to the injury stuff, um, you know, again, he played 71 games, you know, so he, he's proven, um, you know, that, that he can stay on the court. Now, with the Lakers, I don't want him to play 71 games, and I don't think he'll have to, you know, because we have a lot of depth. Um, he'll just add to the depth, so he don't have to play 71 games. You know, you can minimize that a little bit because um, we had a conversation about this over on the Kareem Report, uh, what, last week or earlier in the week, um, on Sunday, actually, earlier in the week. That, uh, you know, Conley kind of flamed out in the playoffs, right? And I believe a lot of that was because he played too many games. You know, he played a lot of games. He's not a, he's not a young guy, right? I mean, he's not old, um, but he's a vet. He's a vet. He's a vet. So he played a lot of games for Utah during the regular season. And my stance on that, again, was, you know, in regards to him flaming out, was Utah's a regular season team. You know, they always want to win the regular season. And they always get to the playoffs and flame out. You know, because teams can focus on their weaknesses a little bit more. You know, the game gets a lot smaller, you know, during the playoffs, right? Um, there's a lot more attention to detail paid, right? Um, and, uh, you know, so Utah always fizzles out, whatever. But Mike Conley, you know, I believe, you know, his legs gave out. You know, I believe he got burnt out. So with the Lakers, he won't have to play those 71 games. And then he don't have to play big minutes. So you minimize those games down. You know, you get him at that 60 to 65 game mark. Um, and, uh you know, and, and he's not having to play big minutes, you know, because you got the young guys there. You got Patrick Beverly. You got Kendrick Nunn. And you got Lonnie Walker. And you got all these other guys. Austin Reeves can play support guard. You got all these other guys, you know. Um, and, uh, hey, man, maybe you get a better version of Mike Conley during the playoffs. Then during the playoffs, you can kind of bump his minutes up a little bit more and let him go, right? Um, so I like that. I like Mike Conley. Um, I believe, you know, he'll be a, a, a great fit, you know, at that start point guard role. Um, Conley, he can be a playmaker when needed. So when LeBron James is resting, LeBron James is on the court, um, whether it be he's taking a night off or whether it be with the second unit, whatever the case. Conley can create, right? He can create for others. Um, he still has some of that in, in him, right? And then, and then Conley can also knock down a three, which means he can play off ball. That's one of the biggest problems with Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook just doesn't fit with LeBron because he can't play off ball. He can't really knock down a three. You know, the corner threes, I'll give him credit at that. But other than that, you know, his shooting is it's atrocious, right? Um, no shade. That's just facts, right? Um, Conley, you know, he's going to he's gonna be a better shooter for you. So he can stretch the floor a bit. He can play that off ball role. Um, so I, I like that a lot. And then he can give you some serviceable defense, right? He's not a shutdown shut defensive guy. But you got Patrick Beverly there. Pat, Pat Bev can do that, right? 
Um, so I like the Conley fit. So those would be the three guys that I would love. Now, also, what the Lakers can do, you have Kendrick Nunn there. You have his $5 million contract. Another option they can go, they can throw in Kendrick Nunn into the deal, right? And then, uh, you know, instead of, instead of uh, Rudy Gay, you know, they can take back Jordan Clarkson. We all know Jordan Clarkson. Um, the Lakers drafted him. Um, you know, the Lakers gave him a shot. And then they moved him away. He went to, you know, bounce around a little bit. They moved him to Cleveland. He played in Cleveland. Uh, then he went to Utah, won six man of the year. Um, so JC brings some uh, some scoring off the bench, right? Um, he'll be a nice scoring punch off the bench. Of course, we got Lonnie Walker. We kind of want him to fulfill that role coming off the bench and being that instant scorer off the bench. But add JC to it, man. And, you know, I like that as well. So that's another trade out there. Again, you remove Rudy Gay from this deal. You throw in George Clarkson. You have to include Kendrick Nunn in this in that deal to make the money work. So, you know, there's a couple different options now. Let's talk about what um let's talk about what uh what it's gonna take to get a deal like this done, bro. Um obviously you got Russell Westbrook, the forty seven million dollar contract. Um you know, Utah's willing to take that on, but they want to be compensated to do so. So that's a first round pick, right? First round pick. I'm talking about Utah, you know, looking at things from Utah's viewpoint, Utah side of things. You know, they're going to want a first round pick to take Russell Westbrook on. And then you heard uh, Utah come out, Danny Ainge and Utah come out and say they believe all those role players are worth first round picks. Now, they're delusional for that. They're not getting that. Um, they're not getting three first round picks for those guys, right? Um, but the other pick, of course, the Lakers have two picks they can offer, two future picks, the 2027-2029. Um, Utah may want that other pick, right, for the players. They may want a pick to take on Russell Westbrook, and then they probably want a pick for their players, for the trio of players that they're going to send out. Um, now, if I'm Danny Ainge, right, that, that's what I'm saying. Deal or no deal. Let's, let's get it done, right? Um, but the thing is, not so fast, Utah, because the thing is, how many guys around, how many teams around the league are calling, you know, for these, for these guys, you know, and what, what are these teams willing to offer up to get some of these guys? I don't see anyone calling, offering up first round picks for any of those role players. So, um, yeah, I, I, that, that's where things get tricky. You know, that's where the negotiating, that's, that's the sticking point. You know, that's probably where they're stuck. Um, you know, the, of course the Lakers, they don't want to give up that second first round pick. They just don't. They don't feel like it's worth it. Um, they're already giving you Russ an expiring contract. They give you one pick. Maybe they're willing to give up some seconds. Maybe they're willing to do some some uh, some uh, pick swaps. Um, but the, the other second, the other the, the uh, that second first round pick, they may not be willing to give that up. They've been adamant about that. They were willing to do it for Kyrie. Um, you know, they they kind of was warming up to the idea of doing it with Indiana. For Buddy Hill and Miles Turner, um, but would they be? Will they be willing to do it for this trio of guys? It just to me, it's how bad do they want to get up off of Russ? You know, do they want to throw in the pick and get the deal done, or do they want to keep Russ and just run it back? Now the thing with Utah though, it's not like Utah can go into the season and be like, oh well, we'll just hold on to these guys and we'll keep them. They can't. They cannot. Remember, they're well over that 15 player max. You know, so they have to move some guys. So they can't keep them and say, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll shop them at the trade deadline or whatever. See, the Lakers can do that. They can they can shop Russ. They can run it back with Russ. They're not forced to do any moves. They can run it back with Russ and, uh, and uh, you know, revisit things at the trade deadline if they want to. Now, I don't know um, if that's what's best for the Lakers to do, you know, because I don't know how good that's going to make us. You know, come trade deadline, you could be on the outside, way on the outside looking in. Now, if they feel that they can still be competitive, you know, and still be right there in the mix, you know, maybe be like at that seventh AC, be in that play-in game, and then they can do a move and move Russ and get, you know, some good guys back to kind of take them, you know, take them a little higher, you know, put them to the next, you know, take them to the next level and move out of that play-in tournament come trade deadline. Then maybe they'll do that. But um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what they want to do. Um, me personally, um. I go back and forth about it every day, especially the closest that we get. Um, I, in my mind, I was thinking that we were going to run it back with Russ. We were going to stand pat, um, and we were just going to, uh, you know, keep Russ, man. I was, I, I started thinking that. But then, um, 
you know this report came out yesterday now i'm back well let's get it let's get a deal done you know let's get a deal done <laughs> um so i don't know man it remains to be seen again um training camp is coming up real 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 soon so um if something's going to get done then this is going to get done now you know it's not going to be some weeks from now it's not going to be i don't even think it's going to be days from now you know i think it'll be hours you know something's going to get done then it's going to get done right now um if not then i believe we're running it back with the rest and then you know we'll talk about that when it happens and that we'll, we'll see what happens man um but nevertheless lakers nation sound off in the comment section man i want to know how you guys feel would you guys give up the two picks for uh you know some of these vets you know boggy um conley gay or clarkson um you know would you want to include kendrick nunn in the deal to get back clarkson um let me know man another young guy that they have over there is jared vanderbilt jared vanderbilt right um utah has him over there um he checks a lot of boxes for the lakers man he's a big guy a big wing um he doesn't stretch the floor but uh he plays tough defense he can rebound um so that's a nice and he's young man so that's a nice guy over there as well you heard a couple weeks ago, or not a couple weeks ago some days ago that he was the sticking point in this utah deal that the lakers wanted vanderbilt and utah did not want to give up vanderbilt so let me know if utah included vanderbilt in the deal so say you got bogey um conley and gay um or clarkson right and then they also include vanderbilt in the deal would that be enough for you to give up both picks you know you're getting a young guy back um so let me know let me know how you guys feel about that man or if are there some other guys on, on utah's roster that you would like to take back um or do you just want to run it back with russ man do you want to run it back with russ sound off in the comment section man i would love to talk to you guys i would love to know and um yeah bro uh training camp is coming up real real soon lakers nation man i hope you guys are starting to get excited um, again, I know that the roster has a lot of flaws, right? And a lot of us don't want Russ on the roster. So it's like, come on, make a move, make a move, make a move. But nevertheless, if a move is made or not, training camp is coming up, man. So regardless, I'm getting excited, man. I'm super pumped. And I hope you guys are as well. And uh, bro, 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 sister, 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 whatever, man. Lakers Nation, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get excited, man. Make sure you guys follow us on all of the LOE socials. Instagram at Lakers underscore over underscore everything. Twitter at the one LOE, the with two E's. And Gmail at the Lakers over everything at gmail.com it's there on the ticker for you hit your boy up the dms are open um on ig the dms are open on uh twitter so hit your boy up man if you got some takes some lakers takes that you want to get out there man hit me up let me know and then we'll talk about it here on the channel um or just whatever man whatever you want to talk about i'm um, hit your boy up man the season is fastly approaching, so we're going to have a lot of things coming, man. And we want you locked and loaded. Make sure you're subscribed here. Make sure you have your notification bells turned on. And uh, Lakers Nation, we'll catch you guys later. Purple and gold till we die, baby. Purple and gold, we ride. I bleed purple. My heart beats gold, baby. It's Lakers over everything. Send in those super thanks, man. Help the channel out. Hit the cash app up, man. Help the channel out. Um, and boy, 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 we got some amazing things in store for you all season long. Let's go, baby. We're, we're inching closer and closer and closer to that 5K milestone. When we get there, man, we're going to turn up. We're going to have a big 5K celebration over here. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. We're going to have a very, very special guest. The one, the only, the Kareem Report, baby. He will be our special guest to celebrate 5 thousand subscribers man and we're gonna do some big big giveaways so make sure you share this video out tell everybody to tell everybody to tell everybody loe is the place to be baby uh all season long all right man we'll catch you guys in the next one man if anything breaks if anything shakes with this utah stuff um then we'll get on here we will talk all about it if anything else happens we'll talk all about it again make sure you're following us on twitter make sure you're following us on ig you know because we post there you know pretty much all throughout the day every day all right purple and once again say it with me as we peace out purple and go till we die purple and go we ride i bleed purple my heart beats go baby it's lakers over 
everything. We balling. We balling. We balling. Let's hear the anthem as we exit the building. Peace. What up, Lakers fans? What up, Lakers fam? Lakers fans. Let's go, Lakers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We balling. We balling. We balling. But it's purple. Heart is gold, baby. LA, I got it. Who with me? Let's roll. Oh, yeah, you already know. You know what they yell when they see me? Hurling, go, hurling, go. The dying's on my way to the plan. Gonna hate her like a Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah. Champions of the spot. Watch how they watch us. Meet me at the top. Now nah, we ain't gonna stop. LA be like, hey.